Have you ever seen how oil drilling works? Today, we're diving into a fascinating and crucial topic you'll want to know about. Offshore platforms. What are they? How are they constructed? And why are they so important in the oil and gas industry? Let's explore together in this episode. But before we start, stay tuned, because I'll be sharing some interesting facts and information you might not have known before. Offshore platforms are large structures located in the middle of the sea, used for exploiting and exploring natural resources, primarily oil and gas. Their main function is to serve as drilling and production sites for oil or gas from the seabed. The construction process of offshore platforms involves complex stages, including foundation placement, main structure installation, and the installation of specialized equipment for drilling and extracting underwater resources. Moreover, they require support systems for the workers' life on site. Some countries that boast the world's largest offshore platforms include China, Norway, Brazil, and the United States. They have abundant natural resources off their coasts and have developed a strong oil and gas industry using offshore platform technology. Would you believe we've already reached one of the largest construction ports in China while chatting? Yep, we're going to talk about how impressive the land of the bamboo curtain is in terms of their construction prowess. In constructing an offshore platform, the first part made is the leg section, known as the jacket. Initially, the jacket's base is covered by a foundation made of concrete and steel. The height and width of the jacket foundation are determined well before construction through site research. Data on wave height, current speed, earthquake possibilities, and tsunami potential are thoroughly considered. That's why the creation of the jacket is crucial. Even a minor mistake could destabilize the offshore platform, putting everyone at risk. Once completed, the jacket will be transported to the offshore platform's location. Typically, a single jacket leg can weigh up to 18,000 tons, equivalent to about 580 units of Jakarta's MRT. With such a daunting weight, the main challenge is accurately placing the jacket in the correct position. Initially, the jacket is released from the transport ship, and then water is pumped into each connected pillar. Eventually, the jacket will begin to stand upright with the aid of a crane. Underwater, another team's job is to connect each jacket leg to anchors already installed on the seabed. Once deemed strong enough, the installation of the jacket is complete. After delving deep into the installation site in the middle of the sea, we return to the construction port to observe the deck's creation. This structure will serve as the main area for all operations. Three levels of structure will be constructed, starting with the cellar deck, where all the energy sources to operate the offshore platform are located. Then there's the production deck, where the extracted crude oil is processed. Lastly, and most importantly, is the drilling deck, where all the drilling operations are conducted, hence this level is equipped with a unique drilling machine. Quite different from the usual drills that are pointed downwards, isn't it? Once the construction of the deck is completed, it will be transported by a crane ship to the installation site. Upon arrival, the deck is released from the ship's holding platform and then installed on each prepared jacket. After it is perfectly installed, the offshore platform is ready to commence drilling operations. Finally, we reach the oil drilling process, which is quite complicated. The first step involves inserting the drill with a steel pipe as a guide to direct the drill. Once deep enough, the steel pipe is left behind by the drill until it reaches twice the depth of the provided steel pipe. Next, cement, retaining structures, and mud are pumped into the steel pipe to create a mold. This activity is repeated until the drill approaches the oil well. The depth the drill must reach to extract oil varies, but on average, it reaches about 9,000 feet below the seabed, translating to roughly 1.7 miles deep. In converting units for a U.S. audience, note the conversion of metric measurements to U.S. customary units, enhancing clarity and understanding for readers familiar with different systems. Once oil is discovered, a device called the blowout preventer is installed to prevent the oil from gushing out uncontrollably. 
Within this device, there are components known as annulars and pipe rams. Tasked with controlling and stopping the flow of oil from continuously rising to the offshore platform's facilities. Overproduction of oil being drilled can lead to major disasters like what happened with Deepwater Horizon, the largest offshore platform accident in history. To avoid repeating such incidents, production limits on an offshore platform are determined based on the processing capacity that can be accommodated. Typically, an offshore platform can produce about 2,000 barrels of oil per day. This epic excavation process is usually repeated to change routes from one oil well to another. Oh, and the Chinese offshore platform we're discussing is just one of many types of offshore platforms. They can be categorized based on their distance from the seabed. First, there's the fixed platform, with a depth of about 1,700 feet. And finally, then the compliant tower, which we're discussing with depths ranging from 1,500 to 4,900 feet, about 457 to 1,494 meters, floating oil rigs for sea depths up to 12,000 feet. Usually, to process abundant oil resources, pipelines are constructed to connect all types of offshore platforms that have been built. Given the complexity of these structures and their intricate operations, it's clear that the oil produced is vitally important to many people's lives. That's also why working in this field can command very high salaries. This detailed overview illustrates not just the engineering marvels behind offshore platforms, but also highlights the critical importance of safety measures like the blowout preventer in mitigating the risks of catastrophic spills underscoring the high stakes involved in offshore oil and gas production.